Hi. So my <clears throat> question is, can you hear? <clears throat> Say you are consistently focusing on the presence of something and you're doing it for a while and then you get to a point where you know like nothing else can be. <clears throat> you get an inspired action to go and, and do something and you know you have to go do it. And then when you go, it doesn't net you the result that you knew or expected. I had that happen to me last week and I felt that way about something else and I made plans and made arrangements while I felt that way. I felt inspired and, and knowing. And so now when I do it, it's, I feel like I hope it goes that way. I feel a little resistance now. This is the way you figure it out. In other words, when you deliberately focus on something and consciously pay attention to how that focus feels mm -hmm. and then you notice the way the grid fills in mm -hmm. which gives you stronger evidence of how you feel that's how you get better and better at focusing yourself into the feeling that you want that will bring the manifestation that you want here's another way of looking at this when someone has a manifestation whether it's something that happens in what you call your real life or even a, a dream mm -hmm. we like to ask how did it feel mm -hmm. when it happened mm -hmm. whether it's something wanted or unwanted how did it feel and it's usually very easy for the person to describe mm -hmm. how this manifestation felt and then we say now you're gonna start noticing things in your life experience where you've been feeling that way because you've been feeling that way and not even knowing you've been feeling that way but now it's manifested it's really amplifying what you're feeling which is the way you kind of sift and sort to sort of work the bugs out of what you've got going on vibrationally because I was wondering but before you go there we just want to stick this in because this is a really important thing when we say work the bugs out of it there's no getting to the bottom of what's hindering there's no getting to the bottom of what's hindering if you're saying well it was almost right except for that except for that except for that you're amplifying the part you don't want and you're holding it active so it's going to keep showing up in other things so we have to go back to the analogy I've fallen out of an airplane I don't have a parachute what should I do hang on it'll be over just let that play itself out okay. And don't try to figure out how it happened or why it happened or what you did wrong or what you should do to fix it okay. just let it play itself out because now you have new knowledge that that's not the vibration that you want to continue to encourage and here's the most important thing when you have conscious awareness that that's not the vibration that you want to continue to encourage what's that really telling you there's another vibration that I do want to encourage because you can't not encourage that vibration that you're not wanting to encourage without encouraging it so it's like picking something else and that's why we that's what we we introduced into this conversation get out ahead of manifestations by laying the new pipes get out ahead of manifestations by thinking about the disc that you're on earlier in the day let's start in another place so let's say there are four things that you've really been wanting one of them is a really significant increase in your finances another is a really significant increase in a wonderful relationship the other is a really significant increase in the way you feel in your physical body and the other is a really significant increase in a specific relationship with a specific person that let's say it isn't going very well so there's those four things you you this yeah. is yeah we know yeah. <laughs> So, so there's those four things okay. that are really okay. important to you but those are not the only four things that you're thinking about those mm -hmm. are just four really important things that you're thinking about mm -hmm. and those four things have, you've already practiced a disc on each one of them okay. some of them are on the same disc in fact all of them are on the same disc but that's sort of beside the point you've practiced yourself into a vibrational frequency so you have habits of thoughts and beliefs and you have the disc that you choose easily because the momentum of them keeps you choosing them. but now you've been listening to us and we have convinced you that you've put all of those requests step one into the vortex right. and that source and law of attraction have lined them all up and so they're ripe and ready to be revealed to you and mm -hmm. that now 
your job is not to focus upon number one, number two, number three, number four, but number five, which is the easiest thing for you to feel good about, which is that pet or that waterfall in the park or that ocean that's easy to look at. Something that takes you to a high flying, that piece of music that makes your heart soar every time you hear it. Something that feels completely off the subject of any of those other things but it feels good every time you think about it so our assignment to you is think about that and that only and those other four things will all come into your grid okay. because you didn't give them in their current state any airtime so you didn't continue the momentum that was preventing them from flowing to you instead you thought about something entirely off the subject of all of those and you use that as your excuse as your reason so you're on the disc you're on the disc you're on the disc and before you know it other good feeling things are too until you're distracted from the things that haven't been working out and your attention is upon more that is working out and every single thing that's in your vortex that you want has to start flowing into your grid you'll realize it you will realize it you will see it you will follow the path of least resistance it all will show up it is our promise to you when you're least expecting it and the reason we say when you're least expecting it mm -hmm. that's not the perfect word when you're least mm -hmm. focusing upon the absence of it right when you're not beating the drum of where is it when you're not asking the question that's when the answer comes when you're not focused upon the problem that's mm -hmm. when the solution comes as long as you're focused upon the problem or the question the solution the answer cannot come mm -hmm. they're different frequencies mm -hmm. so you got to find some subject that isn't a problem some subject mm -hmm. that isn't a question and use it as your reason to focus and as you focus upon that then you practice that high flying vibration and that becomes the vibrational expectation of you and then all those things that are in the vortex on all those other subjects flow into your experience that's the best we've ever said it did you get it I'm saying them on um, I'm saying them but it feels weird it feels counterintuitive to you to you we, we want to change the expression as Esther's face we start saying to you humans <laughs> we didn't that's not the way we wanted that to come out that's not the way we wanted it to come out at all you keep thinking that the way to the solution is grinding the problem down We'll just whittle the problem down. You don't realize you're keeping the momentum of the problem active. You see, you got to get off of it. That's why step one is brief. Get off of it. Step two is already taken care of and do anything you can to be on step three. And that is meditate and mm -hmm. take walks in places that are pleasing to you and be with people that are fun to be with. And listen to music if it pleases you and eat food that is pleasing to you while you're having the experience of it. In other words, you've stopped pampering yourself in your striving for success and in your lack of personal care to the way you feel. You've got these holding patterns going on and your pressure tanks just building up. And then it feels like same old, same old. <laughs> same old same old yeah so if you feel like you know and then you take an action and it doesn't produce the results at, at that time is that just like taking score too soon? yes it is well what happens is it's trying to fill your own grid in but we know okay. what you mean okay. sometimes you just feel an impulse to yeah. do something yeah and we want you to do the impulse because the impulse to do something felt good right. not with the ulterior motive that doing this impulse is going to be the final thing that I have to do in order to get across the finish line okay if you're following your impulse then you're just gonna have endless good feeling impulses not with some ulterior motive okay. of getting someplace you're not okay. because the ulterior motive of getting someplace you're not <laughs> reactivates the I'm not getting there thing and okay. puts you on a different disc okay. okay if we could just convince you that finding anything that feels good while you think it or focus upon it or do it if we could just convince you that that is your best work mm -hmm. then everybody around you would start calling you a very selfish person for a while because they would see you no longer struggling for your reward no longer striving for it what are you doing I'm basking <laughs> well isn't there something more productive that you could be doing Esther's thinking about that even as we are giving it to you here so she walks over into the offices where all of the lovely people are and no one has their hands on the keyboard phones are ringing no one's answering them 
they're all there what are you doing basking <laughs> well stop it and get to work <laughs> there's something more productive you could be doing other than basking you think I pay you to bask <laughs> it would serve her to pay them to bask basking basking I'm doing anything I can think of I'm taking a break mm -hmm. another one <laughs> Haven't you been on a break all morning? I'm on a break from this pressing feeling of responsibility that is preventing me from alignment and keeping me from being the happy and therefore productive employee that you want me to be. In other words, the more basking you encourage, the more joy you encourage, the more happiness you encourage, not only of yourself, but of others. Can't encourage it if you're not there. It's a really good conversation, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. Yes, indeed.